And breaking right now from Lansing, changes to auto insurance in Michigan are closer to reality after a vote in the state house. And we'll start there today on Local 4 News at 5. The news broke this morning from the governor that a deal had been reached. There is, though, still work to be done to get the bill to her desk. Priya Mann is live in Lansing following all the new developments. Priya? And Kimberly Devin, I think the biggest thing people are wondering is how much could you save? Well, with this new bill, you could save anywhere from $120 to $1,200 a year. And the biggest change, drivers will be able to choose their coverage. Many lawmakers arguing that having uncapped medical benefits really led to Michigan having some of the highest auto rates in the country. I'm proud to vote yes to make auto insurance fair and affordable for everyone. Lawmakers debated the auto reform insurance bill Friday with Republicans overwhelmingly in favor and some Democrats criticizing what they say was left out. It's a no hitter for Detroit. We have been sold out. Well, the bill eliminates non-driving factors like gender, whether you own a home or your zip code. Some Democrats say rates could still be based on your territory, which would hurt lower income drivers. The only way that you get at the root cause of redlining is to really take out the ability for insurance companies to use territorial rating to do anything else would be to trust them to do right by urban communities, something that they have not yet done. But Mayor Mike Duggan says the bill is a win for drivers in Detroit and across the state. Most Detroiters are going to see savings of upwards of $1,000 from this bill, and uh, it's $1,000 better than uh, we've done in the last 40 years. The bill will eliminate uncapped medical benefits, which Republicans argue led to some of the highest insurance rates in the country. Yeah, I think it's a good deal for the people of Michigan, and uh, you know we've been waiting for this for over 30 years, and I'm just happy to have today be the day. Here's how much you could save based on an average premium of $2,400 a year. If you opt out, you could save $1,200 a year. For coverage of $250,000, you could save about $420 a year. And for half a million in coverage, you would save about $240 a year. Because I see the writing on the wall. I see where the votes are going. And ultimately, that bill did pass 94 to 15. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle arguing passionately. Now that it's passed the House, it will go to the Senate and then ultimately to Governor Whitmer's desk. It was expected that she would sign it today. That may not happen. It's, uh, we'll wait to see if she'll sign it next week during the Mackinac Policy Conference. But really, for the first time in decades, real auto reform lawmakers say here in Michigan. Reporting live from Lansing, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Yeah. I mean, together pretty quickly when you look at the span of things and how far apart they were Indeed. Just a few, uh, two it's weeks ago. Exciting, All right, for sure. All right. Memorial Day 